Hello everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the next um, House Mouse Collaboration Share. This is going to be for the month of March and um, I hope that you are enjoying these House Mouse um, shares and I hope that you can go over and check out all the other collaborators. I'll have a list down below. You can just hop along to all the different channels and see all of our um, house mouse projects. So um, I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> um, let me share with you what I used and then I will show you um, what I made. Okay, so um, first of all, I used two of these stamps. I used this one here and there, he's smelling the lilac. I think that's a lilac. So I used that one, and I also used this stamp this month, which is the one that's laying in the pea pod. And then um, I had an image that I don't physically have the stamp. Um, I have an image that someone had um, sent me, a copy of, you know, an image stamped out. And I use that, and I'll share that um, when I share my card. So those are the two stamps that I used. Um, these are just a few paper pads that I used um, on my cards. This is the new Bow Bunny one that I got it Tuesday morning. This I just got it Tuesday morning as well. And then this is from last year, sometime last year. So I used those three paper pads. Um, I did use some of these bows I just picked up at Tuesday morning for, from Heidi Swap. I used just one of these. Um, I used some of these cut aparts from jelly bean soup and this is from the collection called uh, southern chicken chicken dumpling soup um and i just had these cut aparts i don't have the paper but um i don't know where i got the cut aparts i think i might have got them in a happy meal or at a yard sale or something um so i figured i would use a couple pieces of that um and then for, uh, I used a doily or two. I have these little small white doilies, so I used um, one or two of those. And then these are the dies that I used. I used CC Designs uh, Rectangle Stitched. I used the Gina Marie Cross Stitch um, die. Those of you who know me know that I use this very, very often. This is one of my favorite um, nesting sets. So I did use that. Um, on these, these are uh, word dies. And I think I used the one that says thank you. So these are just uh, squiggly word dies with the long um, loops on either end. Um, I don't know. It doesn't have a name on it. So it could be possibly um, AliExpress. Um, this is CC Designs uh, stitched ovals. I did use these. And I think that's it, you guys. I think that's what I used to create my cards. So let me share with you the cards that I made. All right, this is the first one. And this card here is with the image that I said I don't have that stamp set, but someone had stamped it out for me and sent it to me. And I thought it was perfect because it had the little chicks and we are approaching spring, thank goodness. So um, I used the oval stitch dies and I got three layers here, or oval. Um, and then I put a doily underneath here on this side. I used a strip of that paper for this way, um, a strip going down. There's the thank you, the squiggly line thank you. And I did that a couple times, piled it up on top of each other and then put glossy accents over it so it has thickness to it. And this little bow I've had in my stash, half of it's yellow, half of it's purple. So I thought it went well with um, the paper because of the yellow in here and then the purple. And then I put three enamel dots up here in the corner and uh, colored with Copics. So that is the first card. And then here's the inside. Okay, so that was the first card that I made. And we are not obligated to make more than one. Um, I just, um, I just, I make more. I don't, I have fun doing it and I figured why not, right? Okay, so some of the ladies might only share one project, but I have three cards to share with you today. So here's the second one. 
And this one here is the little mouse that was smelling the lilac. Um, and I have two layers of stitched ovals here. I have the doily underneath here and up here. And this paper is part of that new paper collection, the garden, um, secret garden from uh, Bow Bunny that I shared with you. These are some wild orchid craft flowers that I kind of grouped together. I put some glitter on them. And then this little um, acrylic little bow here, it's purple with a yellow heart. I got that from AliExpress and then I put a little bit of eyelash trim under there. So I'll bring it up closer so you can see it. Um, so I got that little grouping of flowers there. I used the thank you again, same thing. I doubled it up and used the glitter and the glossy accents on it. And then here's the inside. So that was my second card. And you can tell I used that uh, Secret Garden paper on both of these cards because of the purple. I love it. It's so pretty and the, it's awesome for spring. Um, and this is my third and final card. And this one here is using the little mouse sitting in the pea pod. He's so cute. He's taking a little nap. He must have ate all those peas, was eating the peas because his belly's real full. He's got his hands on his belly, and it's real um, round and puffy there. So he's full, so he's taking his nap. I have three layers. This time I used the cross-stitched uh, Gina Marie dies, and I have three layers here. This one at the bottom, this one is embossed. This, um, I think it's kind of like a coffee color or craft maybe, and then the... Um, beige flowers and then the white layer so we have three layers on top of the uh, this is doodle bug paper at the bottom and here's where I use that bow and then he here's the cutouts from that um, those papers I said that I had um, jelly bean soup this is a cutout um, from that and this one at the bottom also and this little circle was there also and I just wrote in there with a gel pen thank you and I added a little CC Designs little enamel heart there, colored that little heart in, and I popped this little piece up. But that was part of that cutout um, collection as well. So bring it in closer so you can really see the details. I think this card came out really cute. I love the colors. And again, it's um, springy. And um, so then here's the inside. So basically, I just used that um, embossed paper again, um, some of the pattern, and then some more of the cutouts. And I just made that little spot there and then left this blank for um, your sentiment or your message. So that is my third card, you guys. I had so much fun doing these cards. Um, I love these little mice. They're so adorable. And... So those are the three cards. I hope you go and join um, and watch all the other collaborators. Um, we really appreciate you watching. And I hope that we can inspire you uh, getting your stamps out. It doesn't have to be house mouse. It could be anything. Um, I believe that we have um, Deb Hawks is supposed to still be with us. So I'll add her link down below. Um, I think she said she was going to continue this month as long um, as well as last month. And um, so, yeah, so we're having lots of fun, you guys. And I hope you're enjoying our videos every month. And if you're if you're here for the first time, I do have a playlist. Um, it's every third Saturday of the month where we all share our projects. Now, the time is a little mixed up. I, I think it's supposed to be 2 o'clock Eastern time and 12 o'clock Pacific time. I'm not real sure, but everybody should have their videos up around the same time. So if you are um, hopping on, along to each collaborator, hopefully everybody has their video up in at the same time so you can see all of um, our projects. But we appreciate it. <laughs> Please thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you next month. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.